Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. Today I'm introducing my second set of Photoshop actions. These are weather related actions. With them you could easily create falling snow and falling rain. What we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to load them into Photoshop and then I'm going to run them on some images so you could see what they look like. First, let's make sure that your desktop looks like this. You want to use the Photography work, Workspace. Go to Window, Workspace, and make sure Photography is checked. That way you could follow along with what I'm doing here. To load them into Photoshop, you have to open the Actions Palette. It's right here. It's this little triangle. Open that and you'll see this little palette pops out. What you want to do is go to this tiny little flyout menu right here and click on that and you could see load actions is right down here around the middle. Click that and you'll go and I have my actions on my desktop right now so it's Morganti weather effects. Uh, just click on that and click open and that will permanently load them into Photoshop. Now these actions will work with uh, Photoshop CS5 on up. So CS5, CS6, CC, in C2014. I am demoing it in CC2014. Alright, now the uh, weather effects actions are here. We could open it up and you can see there's snow and rain. Now this um, photograph here, I want to add snow to it. So I just got to click on this. It says snow. And then this is the play button right here. You click on that. Now this will take a, a while to do. These are really um, really complicated I guess Photoshop processes that it does to create the snow and the rain and uh, you'll see that it does a really nice job and also I'd like to thank everyone that bought my first set of actions the dragon effect and Orton effect for portraits uh, thank you very much and everyone who has bought my Lightroom presets all that helps support my website and it um, allows me to do all the free videos I do so I really do appreciate everyone who buys the um, Photoshop actions and the Lightroom presets thank you I, I really do uh, appreciate you doing that for me now as you can see it took a little while but it really created a nice snow effect uh, you could see now what took so long too is I made sure that it looked realistic in that some snowflakes are going to be closer to your camera and blurry and some are going to be further away and more in focus so I made sure that the action incorporated that um, for you uh, so when you do it it looks realistic it looks like you really took a picture of the scene and it was snowing out uh, let's do another one we have a scene with snow here now this image is a little smaller and I, I picked this one on purpose uh, where, because I wanted to show you something. We're going to run it again. So snow and then we just hit the play button. Now what I'm talking about here is because it's smaller some of the snowflakes are going to be really humongous but I set it up in such a way that you could easily correct it. As you can see some of these snowflakes are really large and maybe you don't want them here and you can see how I have three separate layers of, of snow small, snow middle and snow big let's say some of these big ones are just annoying you or they're in front of someone's face and you want to get rid of it it's real easy to get rid of just click on the the big it's usually going to be the big you could turn them off and on each layer off and on and you could see which flakes are which maybe so let's say these two I want to get rid of so I'm gonna click on big because I think those were big ones yes so click there go to the eraser tool in Photoshop and all you have to do is brush across it and erase them. So you could er erase any ones that are annoying you, like if they're in front of, I mentioned, in some in front of someone's face or they're in front of something you don't want them to be in front of. They're easily erasable. So that's the snow preset. Now let's do some rain. I have this image of this couple under a rain, um, an, under an umbrella, but it's not raining. So let's um, add some rain. So we'll go here and we're going to click the rain preset and this one is similar to it has some larger drops and some bigger drops not quite as dramatic as the snow because typically the rain is coming down in sheets not necessarily floating down staying in front of the camera as long so you could see it created some realistic rain let's do another one for the sake of it there's a man here with a a rain poncho on but it's really not raining it's it is wet though so we're gonna add some rain and it takes a second. 
I know sometimes they take a longer time, sometimes shorter time. But there it is, some realistic rain on this man here. So that's it. Those are my snow and rain actions for Photoshop. You could head over to my website, anthonymorganti.com, to purchase them. They're really cheap. I keep everything really, really cheap. The actions, the um, Lightroom presets, um, you know, really, it, it just helps me maintain the website. And then I could do free videos on the training, Lightroom training, Photoshop training, and all that stuff. So again, thank you very much for your time. Thank you everyone that has purchased my presets and actions. I really do appreciate it. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon.